Tonight on the countdown, Merry Star Wars, everybody. And I've ripped off a little poem to commemorate the occasion. Good evening, newsers. Twas the night before Star Wars, I was surfing the web. Complaint threads on Reddit fueled my flow and my ebb. Almost 4,000 comments swirled all around, all hoping that Disney would just calm the fuck down. The children were shocked at the commercials they saw, even though it was their generation that started this all. A cheap, chewy kerchief, portraits of Yoda and a cap, had unsettled their brains and caused a long winter's yap. When out on the street there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my iPad to see what was the matter. I looked out the window to the street below, stormtroopers and Jedis all lined up for the show. The moon on the breast of one big fat trooper gave a luster of sadness to humanity's future. I shook my head and went back online when my eyes laid sight on R2 projecting the time. I saw a Hot Wheels car like when I was a first grader, but Jay Leno bought this one, designed after Darth Vader. More rapid than eagles, the images came. I tweeted and Facebooked and tagged them by name on oranges, on grapes, on apples red and green, on condoms, on bed frames, and on the latest Dodge machine. From creamers for coffee, Wookie Jesus on the wall, throw your cash away, cash away, cash away all. Carrie Fisher says Harrison's a big old pothead, but admits all her partying almost left her for dead. So onto the red carpet, the celebrities flew. Rain Wilson was in costume, and Joseph Gordon Levitt was too. And then in a twinkling, I heard from a tweet, a Donald Trump spoof with Star Wars? Why, well, I never thought they'd meet. As I rolled my eyes and kept surfing around, products featuring Chewy came in with a bound. Folks dressed in robes with fur head to foot. Even police of the Ukraine had some input. There, Star Wars and politics go hand in hand after communist symbols were forever banned. Trudeau the PM, Canada's prince in the north, brought sick kids to see it. He's a hero henceforth. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow. He tweeted this picture in case you didn't know. The parents that saw him converse with their kids were shocked at his youth as he ate his nibs. The Tories all say the Liberals are smelly, but Trudeau does no wrong when you watch him on telly. I continued to read, saw Pop-Tarts on a shelf. It was Carbonite Han. <laughs> I laughed to myself. The early reviews filled up my head. I worried at first, but soon saw I had nothing to dread. The world was excited and ready for fun. My heart then realized this wasn't episode one. The sabers looked awesome, the characters strong. J.J. Abrams has nailed it, the reviews go on. I sprang from my chair, slid open the glass, yelled, it's gonna be awesome, as all the nerds passed. Then I heard them exclaim with all of their might, happy Star Wars to all, and to all a good night. That's it for the countdown. Merry Christmas. I'm John Kerrigan.